welcome to LW Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a classic pudding. This is chocolate roulade. Delicious. Far better than all those fondant chocolate puddings any day. So the first thing you want to do is to separate your eggs. Probably the best thing to whisk egg whites in is in fact stainless steel or a copper bowl. Um, stainless steel um, bowls are pretty cheap to buy. Okay. Now, don't be tempted to let the yolks go through your fingers because otherwise what tends to happen is you um, get a little bit of grease on your hands and you don't want that. So once you've separated all your eggs, you then take your sugar and you want to add almost all of it, but just save a little bit back. And then you can either do this by hand or with an electric beater and just beat your yolks and sugar together until they get sort of quite white and fluffy. And this will take just a few minutes. Okay, so you can see that this is ready. All of chocolate roulade really is like a cooked souffle. There's no flour in it, there's no cocoa in it. All it is is eggs, sugar, and melted chocolate. And you can see how this has changed. It's become lighter, thicker, and fluffier. Right, so I move that out of the way, and I'm going to take my egg whites and that sugar that I saved, and I'm going to do this with an electric beater because life's too short. Now you want to whisk the egg whites until they're sort of medium peak, so not like you would, not so stiff as for a meringue, but just light and fluffy. I'll show you what that looks like. And this will probably take about a minute. They're nice and soft, and they've got almost like a sheen on them, and that's from the sugar. Alright, so we're now ready to combine the whole thing. Preheat your oven to 220 Celsius. And you want to get yourself a roasting tin or a baking tray. Don't worry if you haven't got edges, it's not the end of the world. But what you want to do is just line it with some baking parchment. And if it's not sticking, you can use a little bit of the meringue, just like that, just to work like glue and then you can just press that down. I'm using baking parchment so it won't stick. That's ready, so now oven's ready. I'm going to put the whole lot together. So, get rid of that. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of vanilla extract in. I love vanilla and chocolate together. And then I've melted my chocolate and I've used 70% dark chocolate and I've put it in a pan over water very very gently you don't want the water to touch the bowl just the steam until the chocolate's melted and then we're just going to add the chocolate all into the beaten yolks okay just scrape every little bit out and I tend to use the spatula really for this and then just fold the chocolate through the egg yolks and sugar and vanilla. And you can be quite aggressive about this at this stage. You just scrape it around until it's almost all in. Almost. And then take a good third of your egg white. And then at this stage if you want to you can use a big metal spoon and you want to kind of smash it in. This is called to loosen your mixture. In actual fact, if you put this mixture in souffle dishes and bake it in the oven, you'd have chocolate souffle. Okay, so just fold, quite aggressive, and then add the final bit of egg white, and this is when you become a little bit more gentle. That first stage is called to loosen, so you loosen the chocolate, the egg white so that you can get the rest in quite easily in a folding motion. Some people flavour their chocolate roulade with 
got coffee, so you've got more of a mocha kind of thing. But I love vanilla. And I'm just going to fill this when, once it's cooked with cream and serve it with raspberries. Look at that. So you just cut that through. That beautiful mixture there. And just fold that through. It's just like a chocolate mousse, that's all. And then take the dish and do it quite low. So you, and don't worry if you've got a few bits of egg white that haven't been mixed through because find its own way in the end, by the time you've kind of pushed it out into the dish. Then just go from the middle and push it out. Now this isn't going to take very long to cook, probably approximately 12 minutes, because you can see I've made it quite thin now, so it's not very dense. And once it comes out of the oven, after about 12 minutes, you want to just cover it with a damp tea towel and let it cool before you run. Okay, so this is now cooled down. I put a damp, clean tea towel on the top of it and it's completely cold now. So you can actually do this the day before if you want to. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take some whipped cream, try not to over whip it, in fact I'm using a plant double cream here, I'm quite interested to see how it behaves and it seems to be behaving good and it tastes lovely, but it's quite light, a lot lighter than normal double cream and you want to just pile the cream into the roulade. Now it's really important not to over whip the cream because it goes horrible. It's really um, separated and it's just not right. And very difficult to spread out as well. And I don't take the paper off yet. Okay, I leave the paper on. So I like to roll it up from the paper. And then if you want to, you can take some raspberries and you can just drop them over the top. So, you're going to roll it now. So, pick up the paper and I would roll it towards yourself, all right? I'll try and do it towards you so you can see what's going on now. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm going to roll it towards myself. I'm going to just get it going on the roll, okay? Using the paper as you go. And just keep rolling that roulade. Now you've got to get it onto here. So use the paper to do that. And just get that onto your serving dish. Just pull the paper away, nice and gently, and just roll it off. And once it's off, you can shape it. Don't worry if it cracks a bit, it's kind of the nature of the beast. If you want to, you can trim off the edges. They can be for my tea. You can serve this with chocolate sauce if you want to. And then finish it just with a very light dusting. Real 